Hello welcome back to my channel. So if you're new, please click subscribe and if you're a regular, welcome back. If you watched my previous video, I did say I'll be doing a video about interview preparations, what you can expect, and yeah. First of all, I'll talk about my experiences first. First interview I ever went to, um, it was for my internship and, well, in the dev space. It was for my internship and it was a social interview. And I really impressed them because I mentioned a hackathon that I did. I think the main two things that impressed them was my hackathon that I had just previously won and that I have a coding channel. So some things that you do on the side impress the interviewers. Like if you have a channel, if you have projects, if you've been entering hackathons and then with assessments, it's just based on how good are you so things that you can use to prepare yourself um hacker rank code wars and a lot of others that i'll be linking down below and also technical interviews where you they ask you about a certain framework or a certain um programming language and to see where your knowledge is based on my um experiences so what we're gonna do right now is dive in into some of the questions that they can ask and things that you might expect so before we start let me let you know the tips um for your linkedin profile make sure that you have a clear and concise description make sure that it has a neat and simple format all the your work experience has relevant information and always remember to be honest and accurate in your information and then pay attention to to detail now we have chat gpt take it send it there ask it to write i i prefer chat, chat gpt to write it in simple english um and not put on some jargon or bombastic words that i don't even use in my daily life and then remember also to keep on updating your linkedin people that might be interviewing you it might be a software developer in the team it might be a team lead or the lead developer or it might be management like your cio your cto hr or coo or it might be a combination of them like one software developer a team lead um a manager and as well as hr so those are the things that you can expect so let's talk about um preparing for the interview and talk about technical proficiency they'll be looking at pat patterns and practices clean logical and easy to read code that's when they give you um, an assessment to actually do and then they find find that you have to build something your solution design the rationale between why you're building things the certain way and then with culture fit interviews some you find that they'll send they'll do a a cultural fit interview just to see if you, if you do fit into the team how do you like to work and what environment do you thrive in so you find that they do the culture fit interview which is maybe even a call for 15 minutes and then they set up a technical interview and then this is one of the things that um we think code told me um taught me um it's using the star method the S is for the situation. You describe the situation that you were in or the task that you were in that you needed to accomplish. And then T, what was the goal you were working towards? A is for action. You describe the actions that you took to address the situation appropriately. And then R is the result where you describe the outcome of your actions. Do not be shy of taking the credit of the behavior. What happened? How did the event end? What did you accomplish? What did you learn? And you make sure that your answers contain positive re results. And then tips. Nah? Be confident, but don't be arrogant. Um, be respectful. Dress appropriately. I know as devs, um, we are very laid back, but be appropriate. Be honest and show determination. Sometimes, sometimes you may not know the answer. And it's okay. It's okay to say so. I remember a friend of mine was in a in a technical interview and they asked him what the outcome would be and he straight up said this is something that i would look up google and the team lead was like okay actually it's true what you're saying because most of the devs look things up on google so it was a straight and honest answer and then show interest research the interviewer find out about the company and have questions at the end so with that i'll be giving you some technical focus questions that they may ask you they might ask you to share a project that you've worked on 
um, what did you enjoy about it, how you went about solving the problem, and what approach you did take. Some people would actually even ask the software architecture or give you a problem and then ask how you would solve it, you know. It's always best to have a project on the side to actually go through it with them, um, letting them know the architecture and how you've worked on it. And then they would ask what part of the project was difficult and how you went about solving the project at the end. They might ask you which key technical concepts have you learned on your journey and how do they fit into the broader process of developing software? Um, what is TDD and why is it used in software development? How much time do you spend on a research on trying to understand your project? What is your methodology for solving problems? What type of challenges have you faced? What tools have you learned to use? Which do you enjoy? And why do you see them in a valuable part of the work? What is the difference between procedural and fun functional programming? What is your understanding of, of agile as a methodology for working? And why is it useful for software developers? Some people would even ask if maybe you're already working they would ask which um, methodology are you following at your workplace is it waterfall and agile and ask you to tell the difference between the two um and then they would tell you how which met methodology do they use uh, how do you go about solving errors or bugs in the code and what is your favorite programming language and why and what is meant by software scope and tell me why a tool like GitLab is important. So with the last three questions, it depends when you, if maybe you're going through an interview for the first time, these are type of the questions that they would ask you, like which programming language do you love and what is meant by software scope and why GitLab is important. But if you are already at a, a, a place and already you are maybe working as a Java developer and you're applying for another Java developer position, they wouldn't ask you what programming language you like. Um, they would ask you, how is your, how, how is your experience, um, your experience level and ask you questions based on that programming language. And if you are using, they'll ask you, which tool do you use? Like, GitLab and one maybe you'll mention GitLab and maybe ask then why is it important to use that instead of another. Culture fit questions. They might ask you what are your aspirations in tech? What made you start programming? What do you like about coding? What type of projects would you like to work on in the future? And how do you see yourself fitting in within a new team? But they'll ask questions like how do you approach teamwork? What value do you think you've added to your team? What are some technical techniques you use for studying or learning? Hobbies and interests outside of work? Um, what kind of team do you enjoy working with? And what do you expect from a team and company? Usually I like to ask um, the company that question, like um, what is the team like? What's the culture like? I mean, maybe they'll let you know that we actually prefer working on site and these are the things like fridays we have bry for our team or every once a month we do this for the team and 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 and, and. so you know what to expect you know and if you'd fit in into that and then questions like how you would handle workspaces scenario like meeting tight deadlines and you're running behind and dealing with difficult team members. This is one question that I've, I've realized they do like asking. When they ask our culture fit questions, how do you handle a situation? You have a difficult team member and how do you work around that? And these are the questions that you can have prepared to ask them because they give you a chance to ask questions. So what does your continuous inter integration setup look like? How do you handle production bugs? Do you guys have automated tests? How frequently do you, do you deploy? What does your typical day entail? How big are the dev teams? What tools, platforms do you work with? What training is available for junior employees? How does one integrate e effectively into teams at your company? So yeah, I'll add additional tips that I wrote, that, that I have. What you can do is connect your background with the actual job. 
how can your skill set and interest be beneficial to your new job um, don't be afraid to be proud to be proud of the things that you have accomplished if you have a youtube channel and even if it's djing even if it's art or whatever or side hustles that you have be proud of it if you entered a hackathon you were number two let them know explain what what it was and how you got to be number two and if maybe you'd want to continue working with it um always be ready to write up some code in maybe the chat bar or on paper and then explain what you've done and yeah lastly ask questions always ask questions the more you ask the more you can learn from the leaders in the field and this is a rare opportunity to learn from a, an expert so take interviews also as learning you know because most of the interviews they ask maybe they ask you a certain question let's say you applied for a java job and they ask you what is oop and you don't know it they'll explain what is oop according to them you they ask you what is the difference between overloading and overriding you don't know they'll explain what it is and with that you can always take what they say write it down and maybe your next interview you'll explain it better you know so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope um it will help out with your interview preparations and yeah please give this video a thumbs up and do comment down below if you ever use these um tips and they work for you and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed tell your friend to tell your friend to tell your other friend to subscribe to this channel and until the next one bye guys